Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to show you how you can determine business success in your barter chart based on your five senses. Now, this may sound a little bit strange and you may think, well, what do my five senses have to do with my business success? But let me explain. So um, the first thing, as always, that you need to do is actually plot your Baza chart. Here is the URL to plot your chart, and I will also put it in the notes below. Um, it is quite important that you know the time of birth as well, but if you don't know it exactly, um, it may just be about 20% less accurate what you get here. But it is recommended that you actually enter your time of birth as well. So once you have entered that, you will see a table that is the natal chart. And then to the right of your natal chart, you will see this table here. It's called the Bart's Analysis Basic Table. And what we are going to focus on here are the five factors. Now, um, in business, we all need to um, use our five senses, yeah, our nose, our eyes, our hearing, our taste, and our touch. And I will explain to you how you actually need to do this and how this applies to your business success. So um, when you look at the five factors, um, the important part is this column here the percentage range, and then this one here, yeah, with all the elements. Now, the, the middle part, not so important for our analysis here, so just focus on the percentages. And within those percentage range, focus on the one that is the weakest, that has the lowest percentage. So in this case, 12% is associated with the metal element. Now, it may happen sometimes that you have two elements that are at the exact same lowest percentage. So you could have two elements that are maybe, I don't know, at 9%, for example, or at 15%, and all the rest is higher. Then you look at both of them. But um, if it's just one, like in this case, you focus on the lowest percentage element here. It's 12% with metal. And... Um, this then refers to the kind of business strategy that we need to apply based uh, on the five senses. Now, this particular analysis is for business owners only. It's not for employees because you don't really have much influence over how the company is run. So if you just have a general job, if you work for someone else, if you are employed, then this does not apply. But if you have uh, if you have a company or even if you are a freelancer, if you're self-employed, then you can use this particular um, analysis. Now, look at which one is the um, weakest element. And that then determines which one of the five senses you need to train more or use more. So if the weakest one is metal, then you need to train your nose for nonsense. Yeah, you need to sniff out all the nonsense nonsense in your life. There are a lot of unnecessary people and situations in your life, and you need to be able to just sniff out the nonsense and then get rid of it. Learn to filter information, yeah? Uh, train your nose to just sniff out all the stuff that is really just distraction and that you don't need at all. Um, and that could be people, it could be, employees that um, bring nothing to the table and just, you know, they talk a good game, but they're not really good for anything. Could be that, or it just could be any other distraction. It could be an offer that is fake, something that sounds way too good to be true. So sniff out the nonsense. Uh, and this is what you need to train yourself in. Um, now, also, this applies to learning what is right and wrong. Otherwise, you will also always be fooled by other people or by situations. Yeah, uh, you if you if you don't train your nose for nonsense, then um, you may be very much at risk to just fall for any sort of scams that are out there. Yeah, and you're always going to be taken advantage of. So train yourself for that. Um, the next thing is wood. So if wood is your weakest 
um, element, then you have an eye for opportunity and you need to actually train yourself to see opportunities. Um, a lot of times there are dozens of opportunities all around you, but because you have tunnel vision, you don't see them because you don't really uh, look what's out there. You don't really see the opportunities that are out there. So you need to become much, much sharper when it comes to spotting opportunities and then make use of them, meaning uh, become a little bit more open minded. Yeah, I know sometimes we have an idea as business owners and then we just follow that idea and we kind of block out everything else that is there. Um, basically, we're putting blinders on. If what is your weakest element, then you need to remove the blinders. And even though you may be following one particular strategy, keep an eye out for anything else that comes along. This is really, really important because this is um, what makes or breaks your business success. Now, if water is your uh, weakest element, then you need to train your hearing. Yeah, so especially the selective hearing. There's a lot of information coming through all sorts of channels all the time. And uh, we need to train ourselves to not follow every single news item that's out there. Yeah, do not believe everything you hear. Selective hearing is key for those who have water as their weakest element. You need to um, not blindly follow whatever everybody is saying. Uh, you may get a lot of advice from other people, but you need to actually filter out, do your own research a little bit, and then just follow that that really makes sense. And that is based in facts. Yeah. So be aware of what you're hearing and filter out all the stuff that is just bullshit. Yeah. Now, if you have fire at your as your weakest element, then you need to learn to plan ahead. Yeah. A lot of people think that planning ahead is really boring, but you need to develop a taste for planning ahead. Yeah. Do not always act impulsively and without thinking. Have a strategy, have a plan, and then actually develop a taste for different strategies and actually figuring things out and making it interesting. Yeah, make the planning process more interesting. Um, the weakest element being fire often implies that you act too rashly, too impulsively, uh, and without a back of plan for anything. Yeah. So this can be very detrimental for business success. So make sure that you plan properly. And then lastly, if your weakest element is the earth element, then um, you need to develop a touch of fear or a touch of paranoia. Yeah, meaning just a little bit. Don't be afraid of everything. Don't be paranoid. Um, but if you look at uh, the really powerful people, they all have a healthy dose of fear or a healthy dose of paranoia uh, in the sense that they're afraid that things get taken away from them, for example. Yes, they're very good at taking a risk, but it's very often a calculated risk because they know exactly what they need to be fearful of. So um, they are, the, the knowledge of what to be fearful of leads them to success. So if earth is your weakest element, um, make sure that um, you develop a sense of fear that is actually healthy in your decision making. So earth people or those who are very have very weak earth, they're very often way too fearful. And that fear often stops them from doing things. Um, now, a little bit of fear, as I mentioned, a little bit of paranoia is healthy. So you need to develop a healthy relationship with fear and paranoia. Um, your fear has to be strong enough to propel you forward, but not overly strong to hold you back, yeah? If you're too complacent, you will fail, yeah? If you're too, too fearful, you will fail. And if you have no fear of missing out at all, so if there's no fear at all, you will also fail. So develop a very, very healthy touch of paranoia 
um, that helps you or that starts to govern your decision making process. All right. So this is how the five senses in your Bowser chart actually connect to your business success. I hope this helps. Maybe um, you can adjust the way of doing business a little bit uh, just based on this. Obviously, there's all sorts of other factors as well involved, but this is one of the things that we look at when we um, advise people on how they uh, achieve better or more success in their business. All right. Um, if you do have any questions, any comments, please feel free to contact me directly or put them in the comment section below. I would also love it if you just hit that like button, if you subscribe to my channel, or if you just share this with anybody who may be interested, maybe a business owner or someone who has just started out as a business with their own business, this may be helpful as well. And um, yeah, I see you soon. Thank you.